Hi, this is Sandra Watson, and I'm here today to share with you another easy FYI now. Today we're in Adobe Elements 11 Photoshop, and I'm going to show you a very quick, easy way to drop out the white background in a photo, as you see here on the screen. I've already dropped this into our photo bin. I brought it in by the file up here and set open. Um, let me say in the beginning, I'm not going to give you any technical reasons about why we're doing what we're doing. I'm just going to show you how to do it. And then if you need more, there's plenty out there on YouTube and in Google to find what you need. This is just for those of us that want the quick, easy fix and want the information. Okay, to start, we're going to go over here where we have the first layer that's the background, which is this one right here. We're going to double click on this and it's going to bring up new layer. We're not going to put a name in it. We're just going to say, okay. Now I'm going up here under layers where it has a new one. I'm going to click on that and create a new one, which is the checkerboard. And I'm going to drop and drag that below the one that we have. And then I'm going to go up and click on the first layer, which has the photo in it that we're going to work on. Now up here, you'll see that the little magic wand is highlighted because I've already uh, clicked on that to set that up. And when I go in here, you'll see the magic wand shows up. What I'm going to do now is click and you're going to see we have these dotted lines around the building. Now I don't have them over here, so what I'm going to do is push on the shift key and then I'm going to click here, I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to click here. And you can see there's dotted lines around the tree and the building and so forth. Now right here, I know this is a flag, you may not be able to see it, but um, we don't want that flag in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift key again and I'm going to click on that till I don't see that uh, flag have any movement in it from around. And you can see I have one little tiny white thing in there, so I'm going to click on that again until I get rid of it. And there, I don't have any blinking on the flag. So now the next step is to just hit the delete button and you can see everything is checkerboard that we have dropped out of this um, picture. Next step is hitting the select up here deselect and you can see all the dotted lines went away. Now we're going to go into file and we're going to hit save as. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it apartment building hyphen outlined. That way I know it's finished. Now this is the fun part everybody. For me, every time I wanted to learn this, the one thing that held it back was when I would hit save, I'd go there and it was not outlined. What I'm going to tell you is the major key, see this format here, Photoshop? That's what is the issue. We have to go in here and change this to a PNG. And now when we hit save, it will save it without the background. Okay, we're not going to do anything. We're going to say okay. And now I'm going to minimize the screen and I'm going to minimize this one. That's my recording. And then I'm going to go here where it says apartment building outlined. I'm going to open it up and you can see we have no white background. It's outlined and it's saved as a PNG. You can go in and you can change that to a JPEG through your other um, programs, whatever you need. Um, hope this helped you. I look forward to all of your comments below. Like us please and also subscribe for new fun videos in the future. Have a great day.